Hi, Loopline here. This video is going to cover how to scrape with private proxies or shared proxies to scrape from the search engines and page rank check without getting your IPs banned. Some people say you should only use public proxies to scrape, but you can use private proxies or shared proxies. In fact, I rarely actually use public proxies to scrape because private proxies are consistent, fast, they don't require constant proxy checks and maintenance and updating, and when I don't get my IPs banned, I can scrape and scrape and scrape and scrape. In fact, I can throw in private proxies and scrape 180 million URLs in a week with 38 private proxies, no problem. So it's okay to use public proxies if you want to, and the custom harvester in Scrapebox even has the option to update your public proxies on the fly. And you know those are free, and they don't interfere with your private proxies, so you can do other things at the same time with your private proxies. But if you'd like to scrape with your private proxies or your shared proxies, you can. The way you do it is you use a 1 to 5 or a 1 to 10 ratio. And what that means is if I have 10 private proxies, then I'm going to set my connections. If I'm doing, um, generally speaking, if I'm going to do advanced footprints, like using advanced operators with Google, and all this is aimed at Google, by the way. I haven't tested every single search engine out there. Usually, if I can get inside Google's limits, I can get inside most search engines because Google's generally uh, pretty tight on IP bands. But they're the ones that most people that get harvested from the most, so that's what I'm talking about here when I talk about these ratios. So ratio if I'm going to do uh, advanced operators like site or if I'm going to do site colon domain plus in URL colon domain the more advanced the operator um, the more of them you include in a query the quicker the IP band is generally speaking so this may not work if you get crazy and do like super long strings with a whole bunch of advanced operators in them but for most people with average use with a one or two advanced operators in there or regular searches this is fine so if I'm doing advanced operators I might use a 1 to 10 ratio so for every 10 proxies I set my connections to 1 so if I have 10 proxies I set my connections here adjust maximum connections Google Harvester I'm gonna set it to 1 if I had 20 proxies I'd set it to 2 because for every 10 proxies I have, I increase my connections by 1, a 10 to 1 ratio. So 10 proxies is 1 connection, 20 proxies is 2 connection, 100 proxies is 10 connections. Now if I'm doing a 1 to 5 ratio, obviously for 10 proxies I'd use 2 connections. For 20 proxies I'd use 4 connections. For 100 proxies I'd use 20 connections. So most scraping that I do, even sometimes when I do basic like site colon stuff, I'll use a 1 to 5 ratio. So for 10 proxies here, I'd set it to two connections and load in my keywords and my footprints and hit start harvesting and go to town. Also, 1 to 5 ratio works perfectly for page rank checking. So under settings, adjust max connections, you can do page rank checker and put it on two connections. If you have 10 proxies, you get the point. Um, also, you could use a percentage. 1 to 5 ratio is the same as 20%, whatever. So just use the 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 ratio if you want to avoid IP bands. And what this does is Scrapebox randomly cycles through these and as it cycles through them it basically allows enough of a delay in between the use of each proxy so that, that it doesn't trigger IP bands from Google. And like I said, I've scraped well over 100 million URLs regularly using private proxies with no problem. Now my issue comes in when I'm trying to do if I have 10 private proxies and I want to do six different scrapes, I can't do that because it's total cumulative connections. So if you open up three instances of Scrapebox and you only have 10 private proxies and you want to scrape with all three of them, that's not going to work because if you have a 1 to 5 ratio, you get two total connections to Google for 10 proxies. Trying to spread two total connections across three instances of Scrapebox isn't going to work. You could put two instances to one connection each, but you get the point. So in a case like that, I might use public proxies on one uh, and use private proxies, one connection each on the other two. Or, you know, for me, I'm really, if I'm really trying to go at it, I just buy more private proxies. I also find that shared proxies works pretty good as long as you get them from a provider that seems to match you up with other people that aren't doing it. So I've had good luck with the provider I use and I always get paired up with uh, another user or two that's using them for like Craigslist or whatever but they're not using them for Google scraping and so I can scrape with my shared proxies uh, and get more IPs for less money and go to town but that's going to be dependent on your provider. Private proxies you're the only one who uses them so you should be pretty safe there. 
as far as that goes. So in recap, if you want to use private proxies or shared proxies to scrape from Google, set it to 1 to 5 ratio or 1 to 10 ratio or somewhere in between, and load in your proxies and load in your keywords, and you can go to town and pretty much scrape as much as you want from Google without getting your IPs banned. On occasion, I do get one or two of my IPs banned. Worst case, you know, those are usually unbanned in 12 to 24 hours, but it's so rare that I get them unbanned, they stay unbanned pretty quickly. Now, if you jump in and start using proxies that just got unbanned, but they've been banned tons of times, then Google will extend that and might not unban them for like 24 to, you know, 36 hours or something like that. Um, or they do permaban uh, IP ranges now. And so if you happen to get those from a provider that gives you proxies that are already banned from Google, obviously this isn't going to work. Um, but you have to take that up with them. That's not the case for most providers. I've, I've rarely run into it, although I have. Um, but if you get good proxies that aren't banned by Google, toss them in there. And generally speaking, you can scrape and PR check as much as you want, as long as you use a 1 to 5 ratio or a 1 to 10 ratio on your connections there with your proxies. And that is how to use private proxies or shared proxies to scrape from Google if you do not want to use public proxies. <laughs>